Grace, and you're watching Live On Love Television. Today we're interviewing a mystical elder of a sovereign tribe, Sovereign Cell. Here he is now. Hi Cell, how are you? Hey Grace. Uh, are these your dogs? Yeah, those are, um, those are my good friends, not really technically my dogs, I don't own them. But I do all of their documents and I act as their private attorney as well as friend because they're part of the tribe. Can you tell me a little bit about your Sovereign Tribe? Yeah, well the Sovereign Tribe is a, is a group of, of animals and creatures, plant life that agree to live symbiotically with one another and we look after each other. And yeah, we have our own tribe law and just the way that we live together. <coughs> yeah. It's all right, baby. She's a real protector, isn't she? She's a real asset to your tribe. Yeah, she's she's actually one of the front line. If shit goes down, um, biscuits is, is our main. So can you tell me a little bit about the monetary system within the tribe? Yeah, well, um, we, we choose not to use um, the standard debt authorised and interest bounded bonded uh, currency. And we prefer to use the money that we can create ourselves in a sovereign capacity and be the authors of our own value. Oh, that sounds really interesting. I can, um, look, I'll show you if you want. Sovereign Cell told me he's a bit skint, only having 360 steves and 108 cells on him. Cells are his currency, bonded by his time and services, courtesy of Riverbank. Steves are favours issued by Spinoidal Steve, courtesy of Memory Bank. Sovereign Cell told us that all the Sovereign Tribe are authorised creditors who carried legal instruments with them at all times. Sovereign Cell was only happy to share with us the content of these notices. To whom it may concern, I, Master Biscuit of the Windsor family, both privately and publicly declare that I am a Sovereign Sausage Dog. As a Sovereign, I give no individual person or corporation the authority to prohibit or dictate my actions and whereabouts. As a sovereign dog, I am as God sovereign. All claims and disputes to this fact must be personally presented to my attorney under one's full commercial liability. To forcefully transport my body and slash or physical possessions without consent will be considered kidnapping and slash or theft. To settle all and any commercial disputes, I have added a bond privately securitized at the value of 33 million licks, the equivalent to 360 million Australian dollars. Upon reading this, you are lawfully obliged to contact my friend and legally appointed private attorney, Sovereign Cell, who will handle all further correspondence. P.S. If I am lost and hungry, you will find three Australian dollars enclosed in my wallet for the purpose of acquiring my favorite dog treats. What do you and your sovereign tribe do for fun? Uh, well, we do a lot of stuff. There's a lot of community activities, but we also really like to play David Attenborough. <laughs> How do you do that? Yeah, I'll show you. In the remote urban suburb of Ocean Shores, one may be lucky enough to spot the Canis Lupus Familiaris, most commonly known as the Sausage Dog. When the female Sausage Dog is in heat, males are known to subtly show off their stumpy yet powerful legs in an attempt of courtship. These majestic creatures are known for their tremendously potent sense of smell. This facet of their anatomy plays a major role in their mating rituals. Although young Biscuits attempts to display no attraction towards her potential suitor are convincing, it's fascinating to note that Biscuit's long snoot is processing over 3 million pheromone particles per second. Despite her attempt to conceal the chemical attraction, Biscuit's is quite clearly a randy bitch. Oh no, I seem to have embarrassed the young pooch. Before we dropped Sovereign Cell off with his tribe, we asked if he could introduce himself on camera for the introduction to the documentary. The wild and wacky events of this introduction seemed to be better suited to conclude the kind yet crazy character that is Sovereign Cell. 
Kia I'm Sovereign Sal, one Sal of the universe, a sovereign universe. This is my mate, Sphenoidal Steve. Yeah, me and him hang out a bit. He's a, he's a very enlightened being, but he hurt himself, so I've been breastfeeding him. I've been getting him back into his health, because that's what you do as a sovereign Sal. You look after your brothers and your sisters, and you're one with them. All interconnected, equal, and uh, that's the that's the moral of the story. <laughs>